All season, we've sort of been waiting for the return of Mike Thomas. It's not going to happen. Thomas announced on Instagram Wednesday that he will not be able to play for the Saints this season. I, I did think what was interesting in Sean Payton's comments Wednesday were just that there didn't seem to be any animosity between Payton and Thomas. Look, the situation's over for this season. Um, being angry is not going to do anybody any good at this point. You have to move forward without Mike Thomas. It's certainly a blow to the Saints. Thomas is what this offense needs right now. It needs a quick weapon that can get open in a short passing game and, and get some quick throws in. It's one thing the Saints haven't been able to do because they haven't been able to get guys open. Without Thomas, it, it, it does change things going forward. It puts a huge burden on Sean Payton to continue figuring out ways to win on offense. You saw it in Seattle when Alvin Kamara was really the Saints' only weapon. This past week against Tampa Bay, the Saints got Deontay Harris back, and the offense looked significantly better. Plus, they added Mark Ingram, and you will get Taysom Hill back, if not this week, soon. The hope is you get him back this week, and then you have a few more offensive weapons. But without, without Thomas, your wide receiver room is weak. It is not a strong room, and I think the fact that this came out on Wednesday, the day after the trade deadline, is not a coincidence. I think the Saints pushed the news back if it had come out last week, the Saints would have obviously looked like a much more desperate team at the trade deadline than they looked like now. It looked like the Saints were just shopping for a receiver and couldn't find a deal that they liked. What was also interesting in that is that the Saints did not act out of desperation. They didn't overpay for a receiver because they felt like they had to have one. I can't blame them for not wanting to pay the price for Odell Beckham. His salary's over $15 million. He hasn't been a guy you could count on the last couple of years, so I get that move. And I also get the move of not going after a guy like Darius Slayton. There were reports that the Saints tried to make a play for Slayton. He's, a, of course, with the New York Giants. Slayton is probably a number three receiver at best. You've already got a room full of number three receiver types. Does adding another guy really help the team? I don't know if he was a significant upgrade. I do think the one guy on this roster that you might see have a bigger role going forward is Kevin White. You saw him make one big play against Tampa getting down the field. You might see the Saints look for ways to get the ball into his hands. Look, this makes Sean Payton's job as a play caller, as an offensive designer, much bigger and much more interesting because now you're going to be a lot more limited knowing you're going the rest of the season without a number one receiver and without a guy who you can even say is a great number two receiver. So the burden is on Sean Payton. But again, the Saints have beaten Green Bay, and they've beaten Tampa Bay with a weak wide receiver room. They've beaten probably the two best teams in your conference already. So how Sean Payton plays it going forward, we will see.